so welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Um, today I'm not really venturing out too much. Um, yeah, I just wanted to actually go for a bit of a walk around town. And I wanted to show you guys another one of the temples and you guys like it so much. So this is a fairly big one in my town and it's just really peaceful. It's right in the middle of the city but because it's right up on top of kind of a hill. It's just so peaceful and so beautiful and in the springtime there are actually a heap of um, ume trees and a few sakura I think. But yeah the blooms are so beautiful so I just want to show you guys around. Obviously they're not going to be blooming at the moment but we've still got some of the leaves you can see behind me um, left over from autumn because the weather's so screwy at the moment. So I'm going to show you guys around and then I think the plan is to... what do I need to do today? Um, I think I'm going to cook some meals and freeze some stuff so I've got food and also I want to do some wrapping of some Christmas presents so yeah I think that's about my day today um yeah I know let's go so yeah the, you guys can see how confused all the trees are around here at the moment we've had such a warm winter so far that I think everything kind of thinks we're still in full which is a bit strange. Nah, kitty. He's kind of like, no, I am not going to let you pat me. Oh, That's so cute and fluffy. And all the Emma, which are kind of like prayer blocks, I guess. It makes such a pretty sound. So yeah, from memory, I think this shrine is very, very old, and I think it was actually, like, because um, my town is kind of like in the middle of where a lot of the battles around, like, Osaka and Kyoto were fought, um, I think one of the big, um, one of the big players in, like, the Japanese like history of, you know, Osaka Castle and all of that. I think, I want to say it's Oda Nobunaga, but I'm probably getting that completely wrong because my memory is a bit dodgy on Japanese history. Um, actually like rested here on his way to fight some big battle. Um, yeah, it's just kind of nice to have that kind of history around you every day. I think it's really cool. Actually, it's something I really want to do is learn a little bit more about Japanese history because I get to see all these awesome places that have all of this meaning and, you know, it's just, yeah, I don't understand it and I don't quite get the importance of it every time, which is a bit sad. I think you really missed out on stuff. So yeah, during winter it's a little bit quiet and it's a little bit, oh, that's, um, and it's a little bit kind of, I don't know, it feels sleepy. Like everything's just a little bit asleep. But that doesn't mean that it's not very beautiful as well. I think it's nice to kind of spend some time in peaceful places like this, especially in a country as crazy busy as Japan. Yep, so there's still leaves out. What is happening, Japan? What is this weather doing? Actually, I wanted to show you guys too. This is my local sandal. Um, and it's really, really awesome. I love it. The lady who owns it is really, really nice. and always talks to me or tries to and well she talks to me I try to understand really and yeah it's, it's just really nice that bar's really nice too so yeah I started to show you guys it's kind of cool hey guys all right so I'm back home now I have a flu I've been trying to stay warm because it's gotten really cold after all that rain um, and I ventured out to the grocery store, which is super duper exciting. Alright, but one of my all time absolute thing favorite, uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, one of my all time favorite things to do at Christmas time has always been to 
wrap presents. It's been something that I used to spend hours on. Um, obviously there's a little bit less nowadays, but um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap some presents. So I got some really cool stuff. I just want to show you what I'm going to be wrapping with. I thought that might be interesting. So the first one is my wrapping paper. So I just went to Daiso. It's kind of nice and it's cheap, which is great. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute and it's Christmassy enough to be Christmas, but it can also be used at other times because, to be honest, I don't know, there's not a lot of point in just buying something you can only use once a year, especially when you've got pretty small, you know, living spaces and storage spaces here in Japan, so yeah, practical, I love it. And it's red and it's cute, so yeah. Um, I also have some very nice sparkly gold and red ribbon to go with my paper and then I also have some tape so I have some colored tape tape with designs on it probably tape that won't go really well with my wrapping paper but anyway for that case I also have some good old clear stuff so yeah I'm going to do some wrapping and then I need to make dinner as well so I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight so it's gonna be yummy um so yeah I haven't made it in a little while um, mostly because I can never seem to find tomato paste and that makes me really sad but I'm going to try and do it without it hopefully it turns out okay um, yeah so that's going to be my night in front of the heater as much as possible spooning it really inappropriately alright so let's do some wrapping